What's up guys? Tony here with iTech Check. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing great and today we're going to be taking a look at a wireless charger made by Humix. I'd like to thank Humix for sending me out this product so I could do this review and demo for you today. Now this particular wireless charger is a Qi wireless charger and it is compatible with the iPhone 8, 8 Plus and the iPhone X as well as Android such as the Galaxy Note 8, S8 Plus, S8, S7, S7 Edge. Pretty much any phone that is QI enabled will work with this charger. Now another nice thing about this charger is it is Quick Charge 3.0 compatible. So all the latest phones that are out right now that take advantage of Quick Charge 3.0 will be able to take advantage of this wireless charger's full potential. It also has a overcharge protection so you don't have to worry about your phone getting overcharged and overheated. Now even though this is Quick Charge 3.0 ready, you can use it with any phone that is QI compatible, like I said before. The only thing is if your phone is not capable of receiving the Quick Charge 3.0 voltages, it will downgrade itself, but you'll still be able to use the wireless charger. Another thing is it does not come with the wall adapter. So basically use the wall adapter that came with your phone to use with this to make sure that you're getting exactly the voltage that your phone requires to be charged. Another little thing that I wanted to mention, it, it's important to me and I'm sure it's important to everybody out there that the packaging that these products come in are nicely put together. That to me says a lot about the company versus companies that kind of just slap the packaging together and throw the product inside the box. Right off the bat you get your little manuals and here you just pop off this top cover. You get your micro USB cable and the charger. Now what I can say right off the bat is it does feel substantial. It's got a nice weight to it. It feels very solid. It doesn't feel like a cheap product. It also has like this rubbery, leathery type feel to the top here. And it also has this rubberized ring to help keep your phone from sliding. On the bottom here, it also has a rubber that will help keep the puck from sliding all over the place. And there's your little micro USB input. Now the charger does have a nice light little blue glow to it. It doesn't seem like it's very overpowering, especially when it's very dark at night. It just kind of has a nice soft blue glow to it, which I really like. And it only glows when you put your phone onto it to let you know that it's charging. So for our first test, I'm going to be using the manufacturer's charger that came with my phone, which is the Galaxy S8 Plus. It is uh, adaptive fast charging, and the outputs are exactly the same as what the little wireless charger does. So let's see how long it would take charging using the manufacturer's wall adapter. Okay, so right now it is plugged up using the Samsung wall adapter. As you can see, there is no blue glow right now because the phone is not on it. Well, once I put the phone on it, it will turn blue. Fast charge. About 34 minutes to totally charge, but that's only because I'm at 84%. And as you can see, there is a blue glow. It's very subtle and it's at the bottom, so it shouldn't keep anybody awake at night. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a third-party wall adapter that is Quick Charge 3.0 compatible to let you see what the difference is. So here we are all hooked up to my Quick Charge 3.0 third-party adapter. We'll see if it changes anything between the wireless charging times. Fast charge, about 34 minutes, so it's the same exact thing. So it will work perfectly fine with your original OEM wall adapter, or you can use a third party. Just make sure that it's Quick Charge 3.0 compatible, and you'll be able to take advantage of those Quick Charge speeds. Now you do have to make sure that your phone is centered properly on the wireless charger for it to work properly, because if you just take your phone and put it down, it's not going to work. You need to make sure that it's it's centered pretty much in the middle and you shouldn't have any problems. It's also nice and quiet, unlike some of the other chargers out there that might have fans to keep it cool. This does not. It's totally silent, so you don't have to worry about any humming or anything like that. 
it will get just ever so slightly warm to the touch after it's done totally charging your phone, but that's completely normal. And after totally charging my phone, it was very slightly warm to the touch. It was not hot at all. So you know that this is pretty efficient. You can also use this with a case. Um, you do not have to take your case off your phone to charge your phone. I have a Spigen case on my phone right now and it works perfectly fine. Now it will work with, with most cases as long as your phone case is not thicker than six millimeters. You shouldn't have any problems, which if you don't use one of those huge OtterBox cases, you shouldn't have any problems. I've also used this charger with my wife's Galaxy S7 Edge that has an OtterBox Symmetry case on it and it charges without any issues. This is available on Amazon right now for about $25 and it is eligible for Amazon Prime. I'll put a link in the description below in case you guys are interested in purchasing one yourself. The company also offers a 30 day money back guarantee and a 180 day free replacement. And of course, if you have any questions or concerns, they have a 24 seven customer service line you can call. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. I'll be more than happy to help you out any way I can. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell to let you know when I put out new videos. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.